Hello and welcome. This is going to be a first gameplay look for me at the Psycho Frontier, uh, which seems to be a very interesting game that I actually uh, checked out on Steam recently and downloaded it. It released earlier in June, the 8th of June, I believe. It's free to play. Loving the graphic style and uh, animations and everything so far of the game. Apparently it has a battle pass system now, which has been implemented, so I figured now is as good a time as any to get in here. Check it out, see how good it is. If it turns out to be a good game, hey, I'll be one of the people who bought the first Battle Pass. So there is that. They call it a Fortuna Pass, though, by the way. But uh, I got in. I completed the uh, tutorial. My thing seems to be hitching a little bit there. Hold on. Uh, this is insurance. So what I'm getting so far is kind of like overall Escape from Tarkov vibes, which is kind of cool. Uh, because you have this like safe space in your inventory that you can put stuff in, and it's guaranteed to go back with you, apparently, if it's in there. Let me readjust the camera here a little bit, too. Alright, allegedly this is a little bit better. I had to turn down a bunch of stuff. I just got my little pistol here that I spawned in with. Do actually spawn with like a pickaxe and all that good stuff too, which allegedly you can go around and, uh, you know, shoot people with, so that's pretty nice. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here though. Alright, objectives. I need to hunt a strider, deliver nickel, and deliver compound sheets. So that's the stuff I have to do. If you hold Q, you can pull out this mineral scanner, which is pretty cool, and start scanning for stuff around you. Uh, it highlights all the stuff, which is cool. Right there. So I thought I could see him. What the hell? Yeah, there he is. Can't hit him, though, apparently. There we go. Alright, so there's the Hunt the Strider mission completed. That was creepy. I noticed the sound design in this game seems to be very good, too, so that's pretty nice. All right, what do we got here? Quick draw stock, so a weapon attachment, old currency... The looting and everything like that is pretty satisfying in this game, too, I won't lie. I really like the visual style, too, where it's kind of like a, a... Almost like a cartoony kind of look to it, but also kind of realistic. Like, if you look at, like, all the textures and stuff, they definitely got that kind of, like, almost Fortnite-y aesthetic. Um, but then, you know, some of, like, the flowers and the foliage and such lends itself to more of a realistic perspective. So it's pretty nice. It's a good combination of the two. Game definitely looks great, as I'm sure my GPU can tell you as well. It's interesting that when you're in the hub world, this game employs, like, a third-person camera perspective. But then when you come into the actual, like, I guess, raid, if you want to call it that, it uh, employs a first-person camera perspective, which is pretty cool. There's an enemy right there, by the way. So for the first raid, I just brought myself in some armor, a weapon, 250 rounds of ammunition, which sounds like a lot, and then obviously the mineral scanner as well. Um, you do also actually get a binocular, which is pretty cool, and then you get a flashlight as well, which is very, very dim, but you know what? It works, I suppose. Oh, this is cool. Got a little some little statues up here. Base camp, high danger. Uh oh. I like how it tells you the danger level of like the respective area that you're at. And so that thing's at half HP, so something was shooting it. The audio is not spatialized well enough. I have no clue where that shooting is coming from. Let's see, I'm going to pull up my binocular. Get a look over there. Yeah, somebody is shooting at stuff over there. You see that? He's killing it. Ooh, I think i seen him. Probably some big Chad player. Going to murder me to death. That just sounds like a paintball gun behind me there. <laughs> what the fuck? Hello? Hello. Hello. Uh, this is my first time playing, sir. I'm above you here. Yeah. What's up? 
I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> you want to help a newbie out? It probably has your microphone set to the wrong thing because it did that for me too. Can you not hear me? Uh, all right. Apparently, my audio is set to the wrong thing. Hold on, default system device. Eh, you broadcast. Can you hear me now? Hello. 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 Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Nice. Uh, so before I said that I'm a newbie, first time playing. I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, I am. Hello. Oh, there's a third man. Hello. <laughs> Hey guys, <laughs> how's it going? I, he said the same thing about the mic, I had to change it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you also a newbie, or are you a Chad? Oh, yeah, first game, first game. Oh, hell yeah, nice, okay. <laughs> Do you guys have any clue what's going on? Okay, well I got the three missions from the start, right? So I gotta deliver compound sheets and nickel, but I don't know where to find those. Yeah, same thing. So I have one extra thing in nickel for one of you guys. Oh, no. You can have that. You can take it. No, it's all you, man. Where'd you find it? Well, thank you. Yeah, you that's a great question. Scanner, and it'll pop oh. up with little circles, and you go mine that, and just hope the rock, one of the rocks it pings is nickel. Oh, okay. And the sheets is just stuff you loot from inside buildings like this. Which I, I didn't realize the little circles is what it was tagging, but that's cool. Yeah. And those are just All right. minerals. It's not going to tell you which one until you go mine it. Right. I need a bigger backpack, man. My backpack's tiny. <laughs> I found a, uh, I found the stock for a gun. If you want to make use of that. Hang on, I'm trying to figure out how to separate this nickel. I think that's both of them. Yeah, that's both of them. Uh. Item sword. Item split. Item. There you go. Oh, sweet. How'd you do that? Uh, it's shift click. Shift left click. Yeah. Nice. Alright. Uh, it doesn't say that this is for the, the mission, though. It didn't fulfill it. Unless I still just have to. You have to deliver it. You have to interact with it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got you. Have a good one, man. Later, guys. Bye. Alright. Well, the uh, the player interaction in this game is less toxic than I expected, so that's awesome. Good first start. Learned something. I think it's about time I start heading to extraction, though. Oh, shit. Well, this was smart. I'm gonna take these guys out. The pistol doesn't do much damage! Oh god. Alright, so I can kill that guy, no problem. And this guy, obviously. I also had to lower myself to a fi uh, 30 FPS, or sorry, 60 FPS cap. So that my uh, recording software wasn't dying. Oh my god. Nice, okay. Alright, I gotta get out of here quick, because there's gonna be everybody coming to that shooting. Storm incoming, evac will go offline in one minute. Oh my god. Oof. My ankles! So yeah, okay, according to the intel I got from that guy, those little circles are actually being pinged. See, I'm, I've, I've played a lot of, like, The Witcher, right? So, in my head, those little circles were enemies. <laughs> there was, like, some weird sort of, like, Witcher sense. Ow. What is happening? I'm scared. Damn, I am just experiencing everything this this first playthrough, aren't I? And how long does the storm last, I wonder? Oh, okay, I don't want to stand outside. Damn, this is crazy. This is, like, such an experience. This is not at all what I expected from the game, especially just playing through the tutorial. Because this has gone from, like, 
seeming like something like uh, Escape from Tarkov to now kind of being like the Stalker games with like their Psy Storms and stuff, right? So cool. It looks incredibly dark on the um, on the stream. That's not just the stream. That's like overall this game is incredibly dark. Very atmospheric though, so I might just leave it like this. We'll see. I think now, while I'm stuck hiding in this bush, that'd be a perfect time to show some of the, the B-roll that I got from when I was playing the tutorial, so I'll insert that here. If I already have it at the start of the video, I don't know, I might just cut this out, because this is, this is going to be boring for the viewing experience. Alright, storm's over. I've called in the evac. Everything seems to be returning to normal. That sound over there kind of leads me to believe that uh, there might be a player, but I don't know. Some weapon parts, shotgun slugs, Ooh, what is this, electronic cables. Alright, oh god. There is a player, I'm going to see if I can extract with him. Hello, I'm friendly, I'm just looking to extract if that's cool. Oh my god. Why would you do this to me, man? <laughs> he was also just waiting out the storm, but damn. Well, that's the first uh, that's the first raid or combat experience that I have in the Psycho Frontier. So let me know down below what you guys think of it if you're going to play this. It is free to play on Steam, like I mentioned. I highly recommend giving it a go. It's been pretty fun. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.